Hey, Ellen. What now, Chris? Hey, Ellen. Hey, Chris. We're still at the 2016 we California are. Spring Trials. Yes. And you thought I was going to say something wacky and uh, crazy. Yeah. I never know what's coming out your mouth. That's Ellen Wells, and I'm Chris Beatty from Grow Talks and Green Profit. <laughs> and we are here at the uh, Windmill Nursery location mm -hmm. the, of the Spring Trials, looking at, well, a venerable company, Keensler. Fourth generation Fourth company. Generation. It was, in fact, it was second generation Andreas Keensler gave us the tour. What an honor. That's pretty cool. You may remember Keensler from varieties like Paradise New Guineas. Used to be available through Eki, and uh, they've been around for a long time. Well, the reason uh, Keensler ex is exhibiting here at the trials is because, well, Eki no longer really exists as a company, and they've right. needed to work on developing their own distribution network with all the brokers and other companies out there, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. they're exhibiting their stuff. And great Makes stuff sense. it is. Look at it all. The veranda petunias and uh, unique calabacoas and saucy salvias. They've got a whole range yep. of things. But what we wanted to show you new is right over here in the back corner, because this is really pretty interesting here. Uh, it's called the Power Daisy, Ellen. Tell us about it. Well, uh, oh, it's bred by David Curley. Well, and that's we the keep cool thing. hearing his name. David, we've actually interviewed David Curley on uh, on camera, and it shows that Keensler doesn't just do their own breeding. This calendula is uh, well, first off, mildew mm -hmm. resistant. Mm -hmm. um, that's uh, a big deal with calendula, and it's also the reason that there's no orange. Right, because orange is a little bit more uh, uh, not resistant. To, right. Uh, mildew. And David, David's got them in the back room, but until they're mildew resistant, he's right. not letting them out. Right. Um, short inner nodes. Good uh, coverage. Lots of flowers and frost, to frost. Uh, apparently, you know, color all season long. And uh, most important, well, not as important as the mildew res uh, resistance, um, is it doesn't set seed. It's sterile, so it won't uh, it won't reseed, mm -hmm. and that means the flowers last longer. Right. And then one more, we're going to take a look at yeah. this specimen. Is yeah. not quite as tidy as I would like, but this is a. Uh, Heliopsis. Uh, called Asola Diora. And that's the, the Italian, Italian. Uh, spelling of it there, Ellen. Uh, Better branching than other Heliopsis. Larger uh, flowers, short inner nodes. Yeah, cause it says it could still benefit from a pinch, but mm -hmm. you get flowers all summer long. So that shows they're working. And it extends sales through July ish. You know, when you want to. Sell more I'd love to be able to buy something that colorful yeah, in July. Exactly. So that's just a real quick taste and overview of, uh, of Kinsler. And so if you're looking for some uh, genetics out there, another option for you. So uh, signing off from the 2016 California Spring Trials, I'm Chris. Ellen. And we're the Bobbleheads.